We're here at the Ty Cobb Museum in Royston, Georgia, about 90 miles north of the city of Atlanta. Wesley Fricks is with us. He's the executive director of the Ty Cobb Museum. Wesley, can you take us on tour? Let's play ball. Now we're at home plate, is right. that correct? Yes. This is an homage to his home? It is. This is a display that uh, sh shows some uh, images of his youth and his home and uh, his birthplace where he was born. So with this being an homage to his hometown and where he's from, that's where you kind of wanted to start this museum, right? That's right. When we built the museum, we built it in the form of a baseball diamond. This is the home plate area, and as you go toward the first base area, you get into his playing style and his playing career. And as you get into the second base area, there's a cop theater where we show a video of his uh, life story. And as you get over toward third base area, we have a hobby display and then a philanthropy wall. Oh, cool. Well, let's take a look at first base. Absolutely. This is a great trophy case. Mm -hmm. First thing that stands out to me are the cleats. Well, these are cleats were acquired from his family. They were game-used cleats that he had and kept. This cigar was given to Mr. Cobb in 1910 for winning that year's American League batting championship. And it probably take us about three weeks to smoke that <laughs> The other thing that I see when I look at the picture and watch Ty Cobb hit, he had a split grip. That's right. He was famous, famously known for having a split grip. And he said that actually when you get your hands together, you're going to cramp each other as you come through in your swing. So he said it was just a North Georgia boy's idea to s separate his hands a little bit. And uh, that's what he did. Hey, if it works, it works, right? That's right. Ty Cobb was famous for his hands apart batting grip, but he was also famous for batting 367 over 24 big league seasons. And that wasn't the only thing he's known for, his base running, his aggressive style, running the bases, scoring runs. When you think about Ty Cobb and his base running, his aggressive style, you think about him sliding the bases. Braves fans might recognize this as a statue at Turner Field, and you guys have it here in Royston now? That's correct. And Ty was famous for his slides. He had nine different slides, including the fadeaway and the hook. And he said he always watched the baseman's eyes to know where the ball was coming. The baseman had to watch the ball, so he always knew where the ball was coming by watching his eyes. Incredible. So we're at the second base part of the museum. Uh, there's a theater behind us. You can watch the Ty Cobb videos. But also, he was an avid golfer. I love these golf clubs, and there's a really cool piece over here I want to show as well. This is a trophy that was presented to Ty Cobb by Betty Davis, the actress, for beating Babe Ruth in a three-set golf match in 1941. That's amazing. That leads us to our, one of our most prized possessions is Mr. Cobb's 1907 American League Batting Championship Award for winning his first batting title in 1907. It's a beautiful piece. It has like five different golds and a diamond stud there on the bottom. Wait, tell me about his legacy after baseball. Yes, in 1950, Mr. Cobb built a hospital here in Royston, which was uh, lasted for 68 years, and it was removed last year and a new facility was built 12 miles from here. It was our 20th anniversary where we wanted to commemorate the life of the hospital, so we unveiled this display last year. So that's his legacy, uh, not just in baseball, but also what he's giving back to our community. You have one more thing to show me? I do. This is uh, Ty Cobb in Milwaukee Stadium instructing Hank Aaron on how to hit. He was instrumental in getting Hank Aaron promoted to the big leagues. Oh, wow. So that's the connection between Atlanta and Ty Cobb. Pretty incredible. Wesley, we appreciate your time. Thank you so much. Thank yes. you for coming.